Can you see that? Ow! I'm gonna him. Oh, it hurts. Gosh, this thing is so long. That's what she said. Jump roping 1,500 times today. It's gonna be a long seven days, my friend. This week's video is a workout challenge that was recommended to me by a couple of subscribers and also is now becoming a YouTube trend. Are jump rope workouts the next best thing? We'll see. The challenge itself is very basic. For seven days, you are jump roping. You are supposed to do a thousand jumps a day. On day one, you do a thousand and every day after that, you add a hundred. I was thinking this challenge is not gonna be that hard, but then I realized I don't think I've ever counted to a thousand in my life. So I'm just hoping that I don't lose track as I'm going because I don't have one of those fancy jump ropes that counts how many times you've jumped. I will have to count in my head which yeah wow I'm like CEO of looking like an egg with my hair up it's day one of the jump rope challenge and it's also 7 30 at night and I just got home from a 12 hour shift yeah I don't know what I'm more worried about the fact that I'm gonna lose count or that my downstairs neighbors are gonna be pissed at me but either way let's get started I was definitely a lot slower in the beginning, followed by a lot of technical difficulties, including me slapping myself multiple times with the jump rope. Not off to a good start. I haven't jump roped in years. I can't do more than like 20 at a time without messing up. What the heck? This is what you see at 3 a.m. when you have sleep paralysis in the corner of your room. Okay, so I want a refund because since when is jump roping hard? A few thoughts from the first day. 1,000 skips or like rotations is way more than I thought it was gonna be. Being whipped by a plastic jump rope really hurts. I think what threw me off a couple of times and why I was messing up so frequently is because I was really trying to be quiet when I landed because I know I have downstairs neighbors and I just like don't want to be like that annoying upstairs neighbor. We'll see you tomorrow on day two. So apparently every day that you do the jump rope challenge, you're supposed to add 100 jumps or spins. Rotations? You add 100. I feel like I got to 100 a lot faster, so that's good. Only a thousand more to go. First of all, the amount of whips that I have on my arms right now, can you see that? It hurts, okay? Also, I'm really dumb for not wearing shoes on this one because if I had known what it would do to my arm, um, it, it did to my feet. Whew, you guys, this is not as easy as I thought. I really thought, oh, like a thousand jump ropes a day, like. No big deal, like what's a thousand? I underestimated this challenge and we're only on day two. So we're gonna see how the next five days go. But otherwise, not too bad. Got a good sweat in. And that's it for day two of the jump rope challenge. Here's a little outfit of the day for ya. I'm wearing this really cute sweatshirt from Urban Outfitters. Some cozy jeans from Old Navy. Guys, they have the best jeans, especially if you have some not proportionate legs. I think you should check them out. And some Converse. I feel like the epitome of a mom in the 90s right now. Seriously, look how cute this sweatshirt is. It's like big and cozy and oversized. I'm obsessed. Hello, ladies and gents. We are at day three of the jump rope challenge. I must say, I woke up today, calves are feeling sore, and my toes were hurting. I don't know if it's because I slapped the you know what out of them last night because I did this barefoot or because when I'm landing, I'm doing a lot of it on my toes. Maybe a combo of both. I don't know. I'm not a professional jump rope person. I just have one question. One question. How did Corbin Blue do it? You know, the jump rope movie he was in? How did he do it? I have so many questions. Anyways, so we're doing 1,200 today since I'm adding 100 every day. 
so let's go. Oh, and I'm gonna record on my Apple Watch so I don't forget this time. I wonder if there is a jump rope option. Let's see. If not, I'm just gonna do like mixed cardio. <gasps> there is, okay, we are doing jump rope. Let's see how this goes. Immediately, I was off to a better start. I think just being outside and having all that extra space made such a difference. I wanna see if I can try the thing where you jump rope, but like you're skipping. Maybe I'll see if I can find a video or something here. But like, you know when you like skip and it makes it look flawless? I'm sure that won't happen for me, of course, but we're gonna try it. <laughs> okay, we're not doing that anymore, right? Back to regular jump roping. <laughs> She said, this is my mother oh, no, don't trying out jump roping for the first time in forever. You got it, mom. Oh, no, don't fall. Please don't fall down the driveway. Don't fall down, please. Maybe. I'm not going to fall. The bad thing about working in the hospital is when you see people over 60 fall and hurt themselves. <laughs> my mom would be in that category and I would not want her to fall. Okay, so for a total of 15 minutes of jumping rope today, I burned 187 calories, which is more than I expected, to be honest. And my average heart rate was 152 beats per minute. So... I think jump roping is honestly a great workout. I did not think that I'd be sweating this much and working this hard just to freaking jump rope. So we'll see what the rest of the challenge has to hold. See you guys on day four. I'm lucky that I was able to stay at my parents' house for these last two days. So I was able to jump rope outside because the weather is beautiful and I have all this space. So that is a huge plus. Just past halfway to 1300. Whew. Nothing bad ever happens to the Kennedys. <laughs> I jinxed myself on that one. Do you guys remember, like in elementary school, doing that fundraiser called Jump Rope for Heart? Were we even jump roping? Because I don't remember physically jump roping. I just remember going door to door in my neighborhood and asking people for money just so I could win like a keychain t-shirt at best because I never raised enough money to win a bike and I don't even think I was really jump roping for heart I was just begging for money what a scam <sighs> Woo. 1300 done it made such a difference being able to do today and yesterday's jump rope workout outside. I feel like I was able to like jump more consistently. I feel like I wasn't messing up as much. That or I'm just getting the hang of it, but I honestly think me being in like my tiny little like apartment room, I feel like I'm just worried about the space and worried about being allowed and everything like that. That is all for today and I will see you tomorrow. Hey Siri, text Logan. What do you want to say? I'm going to go on the balcony and jump rope and I'm going to let Daphne roam around. Your message to Logan says an idiot's Balloon says I'm going to go on the balcony and jump rope and I'm going to let Daphne roam around. Ready to send it? Yes. <laughs> I didn't include a lot of footage on this date because I think you guys get the idea of what it looks like. <sighs> Alright guys, well that's it for day five. I only have two days left of this thing. Um, it's getting a little easier and I'm definitely feeling like less winded. I guess it's like no different than when you practice running or you walk all the time Like you're just building that cardiovascular endurance. I'm not struggling as bad as I was on like day one. It's day six of the jump roping challenge Almost there Almost there. Also, this is another sports bra that I got from Airy. It's so cute. It's so flattering I love it. It's comfy and we're working out in it today. Okay, even less footage included on this day because while the sports bra was super cute, not very supportive, and I'm trying to keep this channel relatively PG. Okay, thanks. 
This is like an hour later because I forgot to film my immediate thoughts after jump roping 1500 times today. Also, do not make fun of our fall gnome. I definitely feel like I have better agility, I'm faster, I'm able to do it a lot quicker than I was in the beginning. I only feel like minor discomfort in like my shin and in my toes when I'm jumping, but I just think it's because this is an exercise and activity that I haven't done in years. Last day is tomorrow, I have to do 1,600 jumps and then I will be done with the seven day jump rope challenge. All right, y'all, it's day seven, last day of the jump rope challenge. Let's get this thing done. We're going on the balcony. Even though it's getting dark out, it's a little bit cold, but we're doing the dang thing. By day seven, I was a lot faster and a lot more consistent and it looked way better, obviously, than on day one. Seven day jump rope challenge is completed. I'm honestly super proud of myself for being able to stay consistent the whole time and do it every single day. Stay tuned and I'll see you tomorrow to see if we have any results. So I just jump roped every single day for a week. First of all, I so badly wanted to be Kiki Palmer in that one jump rope movie. You know what I'm talking about? I wanted to be her, but really, I was Nick Miller, okay? That's the reality, okay? I am not coordinated. Like, you guys have seen me dance a couple times on my YouTube channel. The coordination, she's lacking. I was never able to really get creative with the jump roping. I wasn't able to like skip, shuffle my feet, do some cool tricks, do some spins, none of that. None of that. Overall, this was a really fun challenge. It did get a little bit boring at times, but I would rather jump rope for 10 minutes than go for a 30 minute run. I mean, who wouldn't, right? I guess unless you love running, but not me. So after a week of jump roping every single day, I feel like I toned up just a little bit. Of course, in a week of jump roping and only doing like 10 to 15 minutes of a jump roping session, I'm not going to be shredded. I'm not going to come out having lost 20 pounds. I'm very well aware of that. Throughout this week, I didn't change anything at all really. I worked my same work schedule being on my feet for about 12 hours a day. I did sneak in like two or three walks during the week, just kind of 30 minutes of walking outside just at a very slow pace. And I stuck pretty much to the same diet and way of eating. And if you guys have been on my channel for a while, you know I kind of follow like a very, very loose keto, low carb-ish, like just trying to eat as healthy as possible. But in the span of seven days, I lost two pounds, which is cool. Is it from jump roping or is it just from normal weight fluctuation and like eating and drinking and eliminating who knows? That is all I have for the seven day jump rope challenge. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If there are any other workout challenges you guys want to see me try or you've heard of, drop it in the comments below. I'd love to try it out for you guys. I love a good challenge. You know that. I'd be happy to do it for you guys. Thanks again for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.